What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I'm going to break down what's going on with SPY, test in the video, the QQQ and a couple of tickers out there. I'm going to talk about some very big news affecting the markets, what's going on with earnings and data, what you should be watching for from a technical standpoint for today. But before I break anything down with all this information, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so make sure you take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. The offer ends very soon in just about two weeks. It has been extended once again. So check it out before they run out. And now let's talk about the markets. So anyways, looking at the markets, okay? Right now, SPY is down 0.21%, continuing to look relatively weak. We were dropping a little bit harder in the morning, but now we're just getting a tiny little bounce thanks to initial jobless claims, which just dropped a couple of minutes ago. So I'm going to break down this data for you guys to talk about what's going on with the week. Now, just as a reminder, we have a huge day today. We have Amazon, Apple, and Coinbase all announcing their earnings. The biggest of the three is going to be Apple, so make sure you watch for a very big move in the after hours and also for a big reaction tomorrow. If these stocks slide tomorrow, we're going to see a sell-off on Friday for tomorrow. If the opposite happens and these things manage to bounce, we could see the market get a temporary bounce. But even if we do get a bounce because of them like potentially doing well or having good guidance, this is just going to be temporary because the market is still due for a pullback and sentiment is starting to shift a lot more. As a reminder, you know, the market's been on extreme greed mode for a very long time. If you look at the greed on the put and call options, also if you look at the VIX, which is still quite neutral, but it's finally starting to get a breakout above the 50 day moving average. And finally, if you look at just the fear and greed index in itself, it's still on greed mode. This is due to start pulling back into the fearful side. Now, to add on to this, uh, we also had other earnings that came out. Basically, PayPal is down 8%. They were still in line with expectations though but we typically want them to beat and have strong guidance that was pretty neutral overall doordash was up 3.5 percent roku is down two percent and also besides that southwest airlines is up three percent so very very mixed overall moderna is up 1.6 percent very mixed some are down some are up but paypal was the biggest one and that one was down of all things and i also think etsy was there they're down like nine percent uh after their earnings, they, they did top expectations, but guidance were a little bit lighter than expected. And that's pretty much it for now. Now we're going to talk about just a couple of other things. Uh, let me also add that the PMI report is going to be coming out 15 minutes after the market opens. So we could see more volatility because of this. Same thing around 30 minutes after the market opened, the ISM services PMI report is coming out. So all this data is coming out in the morning, which will give us a good measure of how the economy is doing. 15 minutes and 30 minutes after the market opens. So we could see some volatility wherever you are in the world. That's 9.45 a.m. Eastern time and 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. Now, to add on to this, we had some initial jobless claims data that just dropped. Currently, it is aligned with expectations at 227,000. Uh, continuing jobless claims is aligning with expectations. This is why the market started to bounce just a tiny bit after it was dropping harder right before that. And now a couple of things to know. Basically, there's not a whole lot that's new, but there are still some talks about the downgrade by Fitch for the U.S.'s rating. And you can see right over here, J.P. Morgan Chase CEO said the same thing. Jamie said that sort of Warren Buffett. They're both saying it's quite ridiculous and they're not too concerned about it. And to add on to this, we have Apple and Amazon's earnings. And then right over here, there's no more of a picnic in the stock market. We're starting to see the Dow slow down alongside the NASDAQ. So when it comes to the Fitch, this is the news in case you guys forgot. Fitch downgraded the U.S. long-term rating to a double A plus from a triple A, and this is part of why the market is selling off. And now this is leading to a domino effect, in my opinion, of new bearish catalysts to come, in my honest opinion. So anyways, now let's talk about the market. The market was due for a pullback for the month of August. It's starting to form. If you look at SPY, we have this nice head and shoulders pattern that is playing out quite nicely. However, I just want to mention that because it's Apple's earnings, it's going to be very important that we are open minded to what could end up happening later on, because there's always a chance the market could try to like bounce after the market closes right after Apple's earnings comes out. There's a chance that that could happen. OK, but there's no guarantee about it, as that's going to depend on how they do. And if even if we do get a small bounce starting like tomorrow, it's likely not going to last very long because there's so much bearish momentum that's still in the markets and we are still due for a very healthy pullback. So anyways, let's talk about some levels on SPY. We're currently around 449.05. If we break above this level, we're going to be watching 449.5 as our resistance, then 450. 
450.6 and then 451 and 452 all are resistance levels but the more significant one is going to be 450 if we start breaking down we have 448.5 as one support zone below that there's some support at 448 but the next one that's going to be more major is going to be 447.5 because we have a liquidity zone down there and then we have the 446 gap fill if we break below 447.5 so those are some important levels to watch for what do i think is very likely to happen though i think the market actually might get a test of about 447.5 or so i think the odds do favor that as it is still looking relatively weak on the four hour but just to be safe watch this on a level stubble basis and get ready because we have apple's earnings coming out soon and we are going to see a very very big reaction now to add on to this uh for tesla unfortunately like i said in my previous videos tesla is not in the best of places because if you look at tesla it broke below the 200 ema that was holding it up for quite a while for the last couple of days you could see how it was sandwiched between these two emas the 15 to 200 and now it broke below it that's a bearish signal right now tesla's barely trying to hold on to about 250 um there is a chance of a bounce tomorrow if apple has very strong earnings alongside amazon and those things end up bouncing really hard there is a chance that that could happen but that would just be temporary uh but besides that let's just look at the current technicals okay uh regardless of any earnings and any bounces tesla's trying to hold around this 252 support to 252.5 around that area if it breaks below this you're going to be watching 250 and 247.5 and below that comes like 245 uh, and then 244.5 and et cetera. For resistance, we have 254.25, 254.8, and then 255.7. What do I think is more likely? Well, there's a chance Tesla's going to try to hold up. I think it's going to retest like 250 and then try to hold up around this zone for some time. But there's also a chance it could sell off a little bit more. And I think the odds favor that in the future anyways, going into next week and beyond, there's going to be more selling and Tesla eventually breaking below 250. I think it's very likely that's going to happen soon. So be on the lookout. But for now, we're going to be watching to see how it reacts to 250. I think it's going to likely test this and it may try to hang out around here for some time or it could sell off a little bit more. We're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, besides that, if you look at Apple, Apple's currently pretty flat right now. I'm going to see if this thing can try to bounce just a little bit. So far, it's just trading sideways between 191.3 and 192, going back and forth and back and forth. We also have some resistance around 192.5 and 190, basically 193, very close to that. So I'm just saying this thing trading sideways, not really doing too much too crazy based off the current technical setup. Uh, it does have earnings, so they could try to pop near the very end of the day, but I, I don't think it's going to be that crazy. And we will have to wait and see on how earnings go because that will determine the bigger move. For the triple Q, the bulls are going to argue that it's going to go to about 374 as its resistance. If it breaks above that, then we have 375. And above that, we have three, basically 376, 377.5, and then 379. But for support, we have 372.5, 371.73. And if it breaks below that, we're going to be watching the notorious 368 zone of 370 fails us right and then we have 367.23 below that but what do i think is more likely this is looking relatively weak in my opinion on the bigger time frames like the four hour and like the daily for example so what i'm thinking is this thing could try to pop a little bit retest like 374 or so then continue selling off and we're going to be watching to see if it could hold 372 around the 372 support i think it supports a little bit lower you could actually lower this to like right about here but it's basically very close to about 372 if that fails us, it's going to come all the way down to 370. I think there's a good chance we're going to test 370 very soon. We will see if this thing tries to base around 368 to 370. I think the odds favor that it coming down to that level and then trying to hold around there. The video is also looking relatively weak. We're currently around this 436 area. We're going to be watching if this thing could get a back test of 439 to 440, then continue to reject. But looking down at it, it's continuing to downtrend uh, for now. So i'm just gonna watch it for the time being but seeing that paypal is like sliding the way it has been this could lead to more selling pressure for tech so watch this 435 area on nvidia and below that we have like 433.87 this entire zone right here is going to be our support to see if this holds if that breaks you're going to be watching this thing come all the way down to potentially this next critical level uh, i'm going to actually bring this up on a bigger time frame so it's a little easier to see uh, the trend trend is still looking kind of weak a little bit over oversold right now but once again what goes down could always go a little lower in the markets and also the same thing vice versa we're gonna be watching this previous uh this previous 
resistance which is going to become support on this 431 area if it does end up breaking below our previous low this 431 zone and if that ends up failing us then the next critical support is going to be closer to like 426 426.5 could come next if it does continue to break below 433 to 431 as well so we're going to be watching these levels carefully if it tries to balance we have like 442 to be watching for and then above that like I said before in my videos, 448 to like 450 become possibilities. What do I think is more likely though? Right now, I'd make it a little attempt once again to push a tiny bit, but the trend looks more bearish and the odds do favor this thing coming down, in my opinion, to retest at least 433, if not even lower levels. But watch for it to making an attempt to either like base around this 200 EMA on the four hour time frame. I'm going to be watching for that very carefully. And for now, it's once again in a very interesting position. Uh, looking at the VIX, it's up 15% again, and it's actually continuing to break above its EMAs. We're going to be watching to see if it can break the 200. If that breaks and it keeps going, that's going to be, once again, a bearish signal. For now, we're watching to see if the VIX truly does break out, and I think there's a good chance it will. The dollar is also up again in, or at least right now, as the dollar pumps, that's a bearish signal for the markets. It's continuing to look bullish, and the 10-year Treasury yield, uh, it hit resistance right over here at this, like, 41 26 area but it's still on a bullish trend which tends to be bearish for the markets and all of these things are playing out now amazon's kind of green in the pre-market trying to push up a little bit i'm uh, gonna be watching to see if this thing could get very close to about uh this 129 area it's actually very close to that it's not exactly there and it may be very choppy to make making an attempt to push up because of its earnings uh, we could see it get a little closer to like almost 130 if that breaks but it's looking kind of tight at the same time so not expecting it to be too crazy anyways that's what i have for this one uh meta is also dropping uh watch 309 307 305 as supports followed by like 297 to 300 if all of those break still looking more bearish gonna be looking for a back test of like 313 or so 313 to 314 then a potential you know continuation to the downside it's looking more bearish but watch those supports very carefully anyways that's what i have for this video please have an absolutely spectacular day guys watch these technicals very carefully and get ready for uh their big earnings that are going to be coming out as a reminder we're going to see some volatility 15 minutes and 30 minutes after the market opens as we have the pmi reports coming out so expect some volatility then and finally, don't forget that we have the big earnings coming out. We have Amazon and Apple. So get ready. It's going to be very fun to witness. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. Have an absolutely spectacular rest of the day. The market to the moon as the long term is still incredibly bright. And peace out.